Hello. Um, what are some key actions, practical actions, that individuals and communities can take to support gender diverse people? And what can we do to combat uh, phobias, transphobias, and increase understanding of diverse gender mm. identities? Can I, can I put that to Greg? Because we did sure. come in on this at the start, and then I'll come to yeah, Penny. Absolutely. I'll, I'll, I'll try and give you a, a quick a take, my take. Australia is a funny place, and we are fundamentally, even though we're changing, we're fundamentally a nation that likes fairness, you know, and we have evolved and we are still evolving on this when you think at how far we've come, you know, on, on same-sex marriage and everything else. And I think the average Australian uh, likes everyone to get a fair go. <laughs> um, whether we're there yet, it's a, it's, a, it's a moving target. So we've got one minute and 15 seconds. I'm going to try to do this so Watching the clock, Jim. <laughs> Thank you for your question. Um, so, first of all, we got to same-sex marriage vote through a plebiscite that was a waste of money. Secondly, um, it's not a place where everyone wants a fair go because let me propose something to you. I've been thinking, I've been mulling over this. So, old mate Moira is expelled for, no, sorry, suspended for nine months. So, I would personally like to donate my services to you just for 90 minutes to come to your party and explain to you why the gender diverse community of Australia needs your support, why it was so wrong that Moira was there because, frankly, she's just gone on paid maternity leave. And when she gets back, that those rhetorics and those belief systems are still there. To answer your darling question in the red gorgeous blouse and the lippy, you look stunning. Um, it's really simple. Allyship isn't easy. My best friend is a Liberal voter. I have no beef with anyone. Yeah, like Mazel. So it's all about <laughs> questions. No question is, is a dumb question or a silly question. All we ask is to be respected. You know, as Sky News so kindly put it, I'm not an abomination to women. I'm simply asking for a seat at the table, which is why I'm so grateful to be at this table, because, frankly, most of my community are being assaulted, murdered, raped, or erased by the sporting industry, by politics, or just by some random idiot who strolls out of a nightclub and yells at mm. us. So that's all you've got to do. Ask questions. Be open. We are all people. Literally, all lives matter. Thank you. Thank you, Jenny. Thank you again for your, for your question.